Should inmates be allowed to vote from prison during an election? Make your pick right now at WGRZ.com. We're asking tonight because a downstate lawmaker is proposing some new legislation that would allow people to cast their ballots from behind bars. Here's to your side's Jackie Roberts. Being convicted of a crime and sentenced to time behind bars means temporarily giving up the right to vote in the majority of states across the country. But people like Cindy McAkin say that's just not fair. She's the executive director of Peace Prince of Western New York, a comprehensive reentry organization. You have 2.3 million people incarcerated in the United States and another 4.5 million people that are currently on parole or probation supervision. These folks don't have a voice. They deserve a voice. They're still people. Those sentiments are shared by State Senator Kevin Parker from Brooklyn. He's introducing legislation that would allow people to vote while they're incarcerated. That vote would count for the area in which they lived before their sentence. A memo from his office stated, quote, if an incarcerated individual can be counted as a whole person in the census, then why can't their vote be counted in an election? They are moving forward to connect the dots and improve their lives. If we don't start allowing or listening to what they have to say, we will continue this incredibly expensive and vicious cycle for incarceration. But not everyone is on board, including retired judge and current assemblyman Angelo Morinello. I'm not against rehabilitation of prisoners, but while they are incarcerated, they have not paid their debt to society as yet. Morinello says this is a part of a larger trend in New York that caters to people who've broken the law. We have to have more empathy for victims and not for perpetrators and not for convicted criminals. This legislation is still very new and it's likely a long way away before it would even possibly be taken up for a vote. But if you want to join the conversation, head to our website wgrz.com vote to weigh in. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.